The Columbia City Council decided last night to vote down the proposed roundabout at Chapel Hill and Fairview in Southwest Columbia. And after hearing public comments for more than an hour, the council decided more research needs to be done. Before tonight's breaking news, ABC 17's Deborah Kendrick spoke with a council member who doesn't believe the measure will come back up for a couple of years. I'm also concerned about the safety of the countryside um, children. Um, countryside's been there a long time. And if it, Rebecca, I don't want to repeat myself, but a roundabout, they come in a lot faster than they do a stop sign. Residents in South Columbia voiced their concerns last night at the Columbia City Council meeting for more than an hour about the proposed roundabout at Chapel Hill in Fairview. Residents in the area believe that adding a roundabout here at Fairview and Chapel Hill will only make people speed more because they won't be coming to a complete stop. But Councilman Michael Trapp told me today that that's actually completely false and that's not what roundabouts are proven to do. Roundabouts are designed to lower speeds. There's the curve of the, the roundabout that you have to slow down um, to take that curve. When people stop at stop signs, uh, frequently then they'll accelerate very, very quickly. The Columbia City Council voted down the proposal last night, but instead decided to wait to vote in the future until more research is done. Well, until we see if growth, if the growth projections live out, um, because that's the other argument that Councilmember Thomas raised is that, you know, is traffic really growing? You know, are those, because, you know, overall, um, traffic growth has been flat for the last 10 or 15 years. Some of the research would include how the construction with the Nifong widening project would direct traffic to Chapel Hill and Fairview, and a more detailed review of the Fairview and Rollins roundabout and how that is doing or if it's even being effective. ABC 17's Deborah Kendrick reporting there. This fall, Columbia City Council will vote on the proposed Nifong Boulevard widening project, which, if passed, would start in the year 2020.